Seniors' fee for the, like library fees, and things that they have to settle up before they are allowed to graduate and walk. So if if anybody wants to help out our seniors, just pull one of those little rainbow uh, rainbow pieces of construction paper and settle whatever. There's different amounts on them: There's five five dollars, ten dollars, twenty five dollars. Whatever you feel comfortable giving helps out a senior to graduate. Uh, I like to take this time. So say if you got one of these in your hot little hands, uh, I like to put mine on Do Not Disturb, turn on the uh, vibrate, uh, and then turn them off unless you are taking silent, no flash pictures of your child. Um, but we also have several uh, videotapes that we're taking. We're going to cut, cut them together and put it on the YouTubes so people can see their, their uh, we can have an archival video. Uh, we've had a whole lot of fun making this show. Uh, I've had a blast. Uh, feel free to laugh out loud. Uh, kids appreciate your laughter and support. Um, and I hope you guys have as much fun watching the show as we have uh, had made, uh, creating the show. So without further ado, here's Peter the Stark. Dream to the stars. I like that. Me too. The bench 
Eventually, of course, we dream other dreams. We change. We grow up. It always happens. Nothing is forever. That's the rule. Everything ends. And so our story begins. Assuming all these ropes and planks are in the British Empire, and we are lords, and captains, mothers, orphans, sailors, pirates, tropical kings, and use your thoughts to hoist the sails and deck the ships awaiting us this great misty dawn in 1885. A crucial year in the reign of the <laughs> Queen Victoria. God save her! Who, by her grace, had only just knighted a new peer of the realm. Lord Astor, dedicated minister and devoted father to Molly Astor. His men have to heaven when Molly was six years old. In the years that followed, a nanny was employed to care for Molly and provide her with the essentials of young womanhood. While taking her with him on each royal mission, Lord Astor gave Molly a life few girls would normally know. A life that made her insatiably curious, inseparably bright, and pretty much friendless at school. Friendless? Ha! Huh? Friendless? You mean like me all? Orphan's most useless creature on earth. Look at him. Cast out by mothers who can't feed him or love him. The mothers of St. Norbert's, my schoolmasters. Must have hit the with you, mule. And you, and you! I won't let this send the way of opportunity. Here's your trip on a ship. What ship? What trip? Sorry, I'm lost. Me too. Boy! We're lost! Boy! And so it was on the brink of a new adventure that three filthy orphans and Lord Leonard Astor, his friend Miss Bobby, and her nanny, Mrs. Bunbury, journeyed at dawn. Deliberately similar in their trunkness, one of them containing a precious cargo belonging to the Queen. To be accompanied by Leonard Astor aboard one of the ships a spanking new frigate. Commanded by Leonard's old school chum, the legendary Robert Falcon Scott, Captain of the Wasp. <laughs> Faster ship afloat bound for the remote kingdom of Rundoon. And the other trunk will set, courtesy you meet Bill Slate, Captain of this other ship, the Neverland. The Neverland, a slower ship. And long in the tooth. A merchant ship taking a longer route to Rundoon just to be safe. And while nobody's looking, I'll just mark the Queen's trunk, the one supposed to go on the last. Then, at the last sec, I'll show who's going to show. I'll switch them. Get this trunk on board the Neverland, you garbage. And I'll sell these boys into slavery. Sure, I'm glad it's your office to Rundoon. We help us to the king. Food for snakes, more like. Great boys, come on board. Make your call. Say goodbye. Goodbye to who? There's nobody who cares. Because boy, I hate, I hate, I hate grown ups. Stow your cargo. Start your play. Adieu, adieu. Preparations are made on the deck of the Neverland. Call on and surround the capstan from the cable down the chrome. Heave away and say goodbye, boys, far from England, far from home. A squadron of British Navy seamen in bright, smart uniforms aboard the Neverland. Led by one of the frigates, ready to accompany Lord Astor on Majesty's vessel, the Wasp. Captain Scott's complimental lordship. Can you join him aboard the wasp as soon as possible? Moment. Captain Slank? Here, your lordship. I'm taking the Queen's treasure to run you aboard the wasp. They'll leave a more precious cargo here on the Netherlands. Guard her well. Miss Bombbreak, bring her to me. Oh, Molly, my Molly. Please let me come with you. I don't like it on this ship. Be safer here on the Netherlands. As you arrive in my due, I'll have completed my mission and we'll be together. Look, Daddy, the cat! The ship's cat! A lucky sign! Here, puss, puss. Molly, please be careful. It's all right, Daddy. It's a sweet puss, puss, isn't it? <laughs> ah, Molly loves all God's little creatures. I know you don't need my help, but I do. But I've got to stop pulling my own. You're all grown up now, aren't you? I am, Daddy. Approach now. Promise? I promise. Oh, dear. Just then, three boys burst open. One of the boys almost falls out, hanging upside down, just over Molly's head. He stares at her, she stares at him. He has an air about her. There's a little boy who doesn't miss much or say much about it. Back in the box, you monkeys. Something about the boy makes Molly feel as if she just 
through upward. Daughter, a word that isn't in the treasure in the food camp and what is in it has to be destroyed by order of Her Majesty, Queen Victoria. God save her! God save her! It will take me a little bit of time, but I will make sure I get it. How are you going to destroy it? Can you keep the secret? I can. We can! <laughs> <laughs> what? Trick? What? Trick? What? Sorry. Trick? What? Uh, I think you mean. They're speaking in Dodo, a language known only to, well, Dodos, and a handful of other special humans. <laughs> Dodo, a fat, clumsy bird, hence the last name, Didis Ineptus. Known for its greedy appetite, slothful pace, and sense of entitlement, the Dodo faced no real competition. An airy mirror of the British Empire at its colonial zenith. Of course, those very same traits were responsible for the Dodo's extinction. An airy mirror of the British Empire after its colonial zenith. And thereby hangs another tale. And don't let anyone take this off or let anyone touch it. You know it's in the sandal, Molly. You know how to use it if you guys in trouble. What if something happens to you? You need your loss. It's too dangerous. I won't have it. But I want to be part of the if you can't be British, you can go straight home and back to school, young lady. Miss Bumbrae. No, don't send me home. I'll be good. I promise. <laughs> oh, shut the faucet, Molly. Blubbering like a whale when the world's your oyster. Be a woman. Yes, Nana. After I'm done with Rondu, we'll take a few weeks in our city. Scouts from our birdies. I invite you to speak quiet. Yes, Daddy. There's my little star catcher. Just an apprentice. If I were a star catcher, I'd be lost with you. It's like here's that word, star catcher. But a cannon is fired off the deck of the wasp. Get us worried, my lord. We'll be British to the bird. You and one do. Both speed. Off you go, you little jet, TTFN. Comfy are we, that's nice. Now out! Where are ye, you good for nothing bug of scum? Here, lock these two in the cabin for safekeeping. I'm taking you no chance. Well, wait just to meet you. I don't fancy no dainty gorgeous roaming my deck. Now hop it. With pleasure. The cabin would smell no worse than me. Can we have a kitty with us? <laughs> See clearly the pussy fat we can't clean off. Say the word, madam. Might let you out later for a promenade. Maybe do some petting of her own, eh? Don't trouble yourself, I'm sure. Come on. <laughs> It's all right, ma'am. I'll go see you safe and stowed. Why, thank you. It's, uh, no, thank you, kind lady. Your eyes are as green as the sea, and your hair's almost as wavy. <laughs> <laughs> Take me below, sir. Lock the silly cow in the beauty suite. What are you sniggering at, you pickle rose? Put that trunk in my cabin. Throw the gentleman, fly the broken stand, and you'll curse the day we're born. I'm trying to do your fungus, because probably will trade to me and do. Fell off the tweet, these girls left me widowed at full. 
30. <laughs> Is that food? I'm only hungry. Oh, this ain't for no ladies. It's for the pigs down at the other end. What? Pigs? Really? May I help you feed them? Oh, my Molly loves all God's little creatures. Not these creatures, she doubt. But don't despair. Cook's laying on some yummy meat in the galley. I'll ask caught you when it's up. Nothing too rich, Trey. We girls must watch our waistline. Been thinking about getting in shape myself. Round the shape. Sorry. <laughs> so true. You're quite the specimen. No, I have flabby thighs. But fortunately, my stomach covers them. Best be off. <laughs> <laughs> TTFN. He's rough, but he's ready, Cat Al. He smelled like smell. True. But there's a whiff. A hero about him, Molly. Mark my words. Left camera to John. I call him and be the piggies. Man, Anna, please. Molly, come back here. Don't make me cough you. Oh, oh. Best bring back a bucket before Betty Bumbrick blows a blooming breakfast. Oh. <laughs> Slang put me on pig to be the rat bastard. Going down to the village to feed the swine. Oh, God save her. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing like 
The bridge crews and chains below. The wasp is now a pirate ship. There have been no pirates in these parts for a hundred years. You've been keeping a very low profile. I suppose. I, sir? I, sir, you, sir. Oh, no, sir, not me, sir. Me, sir. That's me, sir. But no, Captain, I, sir. You lie, sir. Oh, no, the devil himself, sir. In charge of hereabouts. The devil, you say. The prince of darkness. <gasps> I say, Tannic supervisor. Valentine. <gasps> And how would one identify him in the crowd? By his legendary cookie dust in that town. Whisker. By his celebrated mountain girl in that town. Does he have a name? The pirate captain they call Blackstar! Whoever's not in England gets to see my facial hair. Now, you like likely wondering, can the fellow before you be entirely evil? Can no compassion increase this for a brew? Brow. <laughs> well, fret not, one fair, I'm a romantic. There's a poet in these pirate veins, and so I plug into the muse. But oh, what to do, which style to use? I am big. Box office poison. Hi, you, Samurai, I don't think so. <laughs> Mind the cuticles, me! The <laughs> bomb got it. A pirate with scads of panache wants the key to the trunk with the cash. Now, here's some advice. Though I seem to be nice, I'll cut you! Put your one side down the other so you can watch your own belly flop around on the deck! <laughs> <laughs> what is that? I say, Smee, you didn't warn my lord that I'm a bloodthirsty outlaw? Aye, <laughs> sir, but he still won't come pick you the trunk. We haven't got all night, Smee. People have paid for nannies and parking. <laughs> <laughs> Stand aside, I'll have to do it myself. Or I'm not. I'm not. What am I? Blackstar! Ah! They refer, of course, to this. The trademark knows the worship of every man, woman, and child in the family, dating right back to the amoeba. Yet the face foliage has been oh so much more than a lawn on the lips, sir. Tis what we are and why we are in. And when everyone else got at the pirate business, the staff stuck it out, knowing one day my ship would come. This is the day. This is the ship. Now pop up that key, my lord. Not a chance, you spam faced tool bag. <clears throat> Why? Is that my lord's coat you're holding? Hi, sir. Good to be about your size. What the well dressed tool bag is wearing this season. So come here, pop, Captain. So very come here, pop. I say, Smee. What is it the men call me? Nancy, sir. <laughs> no! <laughs> the other thing! Ruthless! Ruthless! Help us appear it! Guilty as charged. Now give us the key. Never. Playing games is for children, Lord Asta. I hate, hate, hate children. <laughs> bring it in, Gomez. It's Santa, sir. Just bring it in. Thanks ever so! What? The wasps? My ships are now, and everything aboard her belongs to me. Including the trash Victoria thinks no me. Now it's about it. Silly old queen. God save her. Queen. God save Victoria. her. God save Banana. her. Banana. God save her. Save her. <laughs> Here's two things. When I open this swag, I'll be the single and most significant pirate in the world, solar system, or anywhere yet to be discovered anywhere in the universe. That's only one thing. The second thing is a dilemma. A large one. The Cadillac Escalade of Dilemmas. <laughs> For a point of fact, a little birdie tells me that your darling daughter is riding on a safer southern route aboard the naval nerd. It's the Neverland, Captain. Hmm? It's the Neverland, Captain. Same letters. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you nerd. 
Neverland. I was close. I was pretty darn close. <laughs> Splitting rabbits, really? Hairs, sir. Splitting hairs, that too. Oh, oh, just a second. I know you love your Molly above rubies. So what do you say to a good decoy? We pluck her off the Neverland, and you can watch her die. Unless you're feeling a wee bit more amenable. Love your locket, but what's in your pocket? Oh, allow me. <laughs> Done it, dusted, kippers and custard. Here's the key, boy. <laughs> Treasure truck sand treasure. That's my part. 
got to go BBT to the twist. How <laughs> wrong you are. Yes, I hope to be hip deep in diamonds. They're a poor substitute for what I really crave. A bonnet fire here to help me feel whole again. Well, without a hero, what am I? Half a pirate? A villain pot? Ruthless, but toothless. <laughs> then I saw you, and I thought, maybe, can it be? Is he the one I waited for? Would he, for example, give up something precious for the daughter he loves? But alas, he gives up sad. Now let's see. Here I was treasure. Very good. Here with no treasure. Doable. Now here with a trunk full of sand. <laughs> Not so much. <laughs> now where's my treasure? Where are these swap trunks, sir? Swap to send. Did you buy these me, Swap! Switch! Yes! Right here on the dike! Deck! Deck! <laughs> <laughs> In which case... Oh, the 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 oh, what do we know about the Neverland? He's a slow ship captain. Sadly slow. And what's Martian? The wasp. What's fast? Super fast. Which means... We're in the exact head of her by now, Einstein! Change the course, hard about! You're behind the swap reactor or I'm the Queen of England! God save her! Oh, shut up! <laughs> I said hard about Gomez. It's Sanchez, sir. Third rubber bubba. That's Sanchez. Hit the pedal, Gretel! I mean, get me in the shroom! You pay peanuts, you cat monkeys. Now Jesus, chases on the dice, got the game to foot. I want that treasure, boys. Catch me a never Sometimes, a piece of them folds with the F. A little bit to look like sand. 
Can you keep a secret? I can. Those little bits are docile. Trying to fix how this full of it. The sun is in the good, in case we have no trouble. Star shots? Let me see. No! It changes people's face touches. How? In different ways. Depending on what they want to be. So if somebody gets their hands on the star stuff and, and that evil and greedy like Genghis Khan, other hungerful domination like Sita or Napoleon, or you know, Anne Rand. <laughs> 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 Who's that? Uh, didn't that orphanage teach you anything? I was kind of busy trying not to die. Um, so if star stuff's so, so dangerous, why are you after it? I'm a star catcher. We have special powers using the secret to keep star stuff away from tyrants who try to rule the world. You mean like Queen Victoria? God save her! <laughs> and no, that's different. She doesn't need star stuff to the world. She's British. <laughs> so you're a, a star catcher. And there's only six and a half of us on the planet. Six and a half? I'm still an apprentice. Okay, so prove it. What? Go on, amaze me with your special powers. It's like a magic <laughs> show. And I'm not some magician guy. Well, I mean, you can't actually do anything then. Fine. Whatever. To have faith is to have wings. Whoa! Satisfied? So the cat was flying! Come on, I want to fly too like you with a cat! Get it, seriously. The stars have passed me destroyed. Do you want me to destroy it? You don't be ridiculous. My father is going to throw it in the water box after the volcano. Mount Jalapeno! <laughs> <laughs> Where's that? Run to do what she knows. I promise King Zabok will kill for you a fiddle with Stasa. Hey, I can help. See, I'm going to be the, ne the new, the king's new helper. When we get to run, dude, I'll just ask you. are not him. going to use helper. You're going to use snake food. Zabok likes to buy orphans and feed them to snakes. So Grim can lie. King Zabok said that is evil. He's the worst Zabok yet. Grim's always lie. It's all they ever do. You want to help? Then help me get the chunk of my father. Hey, you know what? Forget it. Why should I help anybody? What's anybody ever done for me? You. Stay moved, really? I told you to stay to pray you won't get sludge. What exactly were you gonna tell us we were? That's it. Bill Slang is drawing the line. I may not have been born with a silver spoon up me bum, but that don't mean I won't spin my tea with one. Ew, that's gross. <laughs> get below, boy. You can go below. It's going over. Let go, let me go. Zaba promised me the whole bling fleet in exchange for the trunk of my cabin. Strong gusts blowing wind. Deep breaths, there you go. <coughs> you saved my life. Of course. Why? Because I'm the leader. Did you believe me? The leader can't grant the safe for the only people she likes. There has to be a boy. Only if the boy knows it's going to want things as well. Same with them yet. Like what? Like seeing some houses. They figured out how to fork the drum. Slay! We need the boss to catch up to us quick. Across the deck and spins out to sea. Turning the Neverland hard against the grid. And jolting two people in a tiny cabin below. I've waited for love. I've waited <laughs> for love. I've waited for this. No, 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 no. Now I'm more natural. I'm still in that and I must find my Molly. Oh, Swissby over. What was that? I'm changing course is all straight for the Isle of Love. <laughs> but where's my She's been gone ever so long. Please and desist, sir. Hey! <laughs> I'm a canoodling! I gotta grab the girl! Get it? <laughs> <laughs> but do come with me. <laughs> 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 55 knots, strong gale, rolling seas, blowing spray. The Neverland crashes into the waves. Buckingham barreling straight for the walls. We 
need to chop us in brief the expedient. This window throw a wand of something fierce in your face. Boy, do you see what I see, Smee? It's the Neverland, Captain. She's heading right towards us. This is too easy. I think I'm even beginning to feel a weepy bit. Guilty. And I'm over it. I've the guns every time I'm on. And keep the Union Jack flying. Don't feel like things will be nice. Neverland, ho! Victory is ours! Well, mine! With 63 knots, for a cane of violent storm, visibility gone, whole wings, black skies, red or white or red! Puck her up, lad, we'll kiss her any minute now. More large, we'll be ready for a shake. That damn open boy's ruined us! Open's ruined everything! Hang on to your ditty bag, boys, here comes the wasp. Two ships moving toward each other, tiny crafts against the bounding main. Lordy, lordy, just in time for tea. Scott, I'm full of cream. We can beat her, boys. She's only a ship full of cops. Yeah! Now, boys. Now, run up the Jolly Roger. Yeah! Come back, you cowards! Hello, Neverland. I believe this trunk belongs to you, and you have something about us. This trunk belongs to you, and with 72 knots, that's 200 miles. Everybody! That's 200 miles per hour! Large waves over 50 feet! Disaster! Destruction! Devastation! You boy, you turn the ship around to the wall to catch up! Pretty cheeky, huh? Pretty cheeky. Yeah, and now there's pirates everywhere. Good move. Hey, see this only big, Prentice. I can do more! Well, I'm so the Legion. And help me get the chunk out of this cabin on the wall. Sorry, not. All issues. Never mind, I'll do it myself. <laughs> Mrs. Barbary, Mrs. Barbary, you're different. You know that? Don't you think he's different? We should definitely wait up here. We'll be safer. There's more important things in this world than saving your own neck. Like, like what? <laughs> like helping Molly. <laughs> and up on deck, two captains face off with the greatest of grand prizes. Ladies and gentlemen, thanks for coming out of the storm tonight for our featured bout. In this corner, do not come stop my way. French roast or roly coast to upper cut a flip a flopper. Which I don't think so. Behind your back, see which means a waxy by the by. Or be blood anointed, double jointed, triple pointed, belly whopper. Oh, me on your knees, easy peasy, Japanese battle cry. Me dog dinner. Me shark shaker. Me winkle pinner. Me walk plane. Shall I compare <laughs> to a summer day? <laughs> there he lies, jumped up cabin boy who doesn't know his place. Now, give me the queen's trunk or say goodbye to your back. The sound of splintering wood. Flappy, flappy can't miss wood by wind. Crack! The deck is breaking up! Mass that was a mass? No more! They never land! They split in two! Stir to stir! Or not! A whole ship has! A bandit ship! A bandit ship! She's broken half! The big race is gone! Stay in that chunk and that's all there is to it! Oi! Now look at this rainbow back here with sea green eyes. Don't let them smell your fear, Molly! And they're hazel! Out of my way, all the walk be drunk. Don't you touch one hair on this woman's legs. She's all yours, all the way. <laughs> now, Betty, for up. Psychics like is right in the books. Down you go to dinner. But just before barking with Davy Jones. Out of the way, swallow me up. A great drought of feet in the shop. Stop nibbling away. I give mother's kisses. Mother, I look me on the steps of a tattoo parlor. Wrapped in a happy eaten bag of fish and chips. Wrapped me neck and open. Hold the bill's like too wicked to end well. <laughs> He got my up and bucket of scum and had his one night. Now let's get moving. Molly, Molly, you're locked in a room cabin. Daddy, the trunk is ours. Bring it to me. Abandoned ship. Abandoned ship. Check your trunks on the trunks. They look identical. Do other trunks. Save yourself. You boy, I need my time to give the Queen's trunk to my father. Don't worry, also the pirates. Some crazy weather, huh? 
<laughs> what are you? What are you? What am I? Why? Is that the queen's trunk you're sitting on? Oh yeah, queen's trunk, totally. My <coughs> astronaut told me to protect it. From who? Pirates like you? But we have all the fun. You do? Absolutely, a little swash, a bit of buckle, you love it, Lord and Brad. Now join the party, give me the party. Appellation, please. Your name, Bub. <laughs> <laughs> No name, orphan. You're more a sea than Columbus, boy. If you were a pirate, you'd have a proper name. You could do that? I'm the boss, ain't I? How about Bluebeard Bob? <laughs> Long John Larry. <laughs> Ooh, we hung a blow from Yard Arm week ago, Wednesday. Pirate Pete. That's available. Pirate Pete? Call it, baby, Peter. Like a rock. That's Joby boy, my rock. Now give me the chunk. Peter. Yeah, I like that. Iconic ass moon rock in a Michael Jackson video. Now <laughs> give me the trunk. <laughs> and what would I do? You'd start my nasty crew. Infamy, gladity, fraternity. You need to connect, boy. Peter. You need to connect. Peter. No man is an archipelago. Now, <laughs> be a good Peter and give your captain his great Big treasure! Again! We blew up Sash the Queen's Trunk saved on the walk! We saved the treasure, Molly! We saved the world! You're killing my plus boy, which I say die! Not again! Not again! The boy's gone off the board! Molly, bring me the trunk! But Daddy, the boy needs help! Molly, help. this is a direct order! Bring the trunk to me! The trunk floats, boy! My name is Peter! Peter, I like it! Me too! <laughs>
Nope, oh, my mommy. So bright. Holy, you know what that is? That must be the sun. I'm feeling you, sun. And check it out. Space, light, air. I'm finally free. And I'm gonna have freedoms whenever I want. Whoa, hey, Bert, what's up? Me? Well, let's see. I date the world, got a name, not too shabby. I just, I just wonder if Teddy and Brandon's made it off the ship for a saint. I mean, wouldn't it be weird if they... Please let them be okay. You know what, Bert? We should make a pact. I'm gonna leave you, and you're gonna leave me. Deal? No, go back! <laughs> Fine. No Molly, no Teddy, no Princess. So what? This is perfect. Nobody's, nobody's after me with a stick. Nothing between me and the sky. I could just be a boy for a while. It's all I've ever wanted. I gotta get out of here! <sighs> <sighs> Sorry. Did you want to be alone? No, stay with me. Good answer. Thank <laughs> this Teddy floats. We jumped off board and I held on to Teddy and shoot this bolt all the way here. Princess! No name! I got one out here! That's solid. Watch that guy. <laughs> Whoa! The wall! Wait, I thought you see it's the one piece. Oh, no, I see where this is going. Where's mother? For the love of her name is Molly! And she's probably drowned. No! She go off the ship before it sinks. As it went down, she's like a real swimmer. I think maybe she made it to the wasp, or maybe she's floating on the bus to the Neverland. Ride this wreck, Romeo! Get us to shore and make it fast! You want speed? Find me a sail! Yeah. We'll end up in China drifting like this! And I'm in no mood for Mooshy Well. Tried it once. Went through me like the winter wind in Wessex. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe Molly's down there. In the jungle. I say, wait for her up here. Come on, help me catch the jungle. It will find the branches on the beach. At some point, we're gonna need to the branches. We need our branches. Hey, I think I found some. Sweet! Ow! <laughs> branches, branches. Guys, I'm showing some branches. To build a rack, you know? So we can float up to the wall. We get to the wall. Molly's brother will have to make us. Where? Home. Come on, everybody hold hands and nobody gets lost. Clear? Crystal. Ew, your hands all sweaty. Yeah, because Pet's first is the true mark of leadership. <laughs> <laughs> Are we good? Yes. yes. You there, Peter? Here. You there, Ted? Present. You there, Princess? And you 
you boys are my prisoners. Lasagna. You two will do nicely. You speak English? If I must. Préférez-vous que je parle français? But you're savages. We mollusks are no savages. I know where savagery is going. When I, when I was young, English landed here, took me to your island and choose. Many long years I served as kitchen slave and not so great Britain. Till my kindness of fate, a shipwreck brought my father back to Moss Island. Yes, in your language, my name is Fighting Tom. This is my son, Hawking Clam. My son shall wear this hat once worn by my brutal British master. For years, I was his kitchen slave. He beat me raw, but I was brave. And one day I put him in his grave with a plate of poisoned pasta. Woo! Thank you. Um, it's time. Tom? Feeding time. Feeding time, finally! Not where you eat, piggy boy. Where you are eaten. You must enter the law. The law? Mr. Grin. Who's Mr. Grin? We worship him. And he protects us from foreign troublemakers. Come, we feed you not a vicious crocodile. Wait, please don't feed us any crocodile. First, first take us to Mr. Grin. Crocodile is Mr. Grin. Pasta. Wait, we can give you a great gift. Anti-pasta. <laughs> <laughs> a story. Yeah, a bedtime story of Sleeping Beauty, right guys? Sleeping Beauty, yeah. Uh, the thing is, uh, I nodded off before the end. And maybe they will too, so we can get out of here. We give you story, you let us live, and we leave your island. <laughs> Deal? Okie dokie, but if I'm not entertained, it's Mr. Grin for all of you. Let's the position. You have one minute. One minute? What am I supposed to do in one minute? I can't transform. I can't inhabit the character. <laughs> <laughs> Here, mighty father, the kitchen timer. One minute, <laughs> starting now. Oh, okay, oh, um, one at a time. Once upon a time, that's how they always start. <laughs> upon a time. Upon a time. Tick tock, tick tock. Hungry, Mr. Grimm? Okay, okay, okay. Upon a time. That was a beautiful baby princess. Save the world. 
big man and I can't save anything. Not a good time for a hissy Peter. Fail, let's try again. My <laughs> father says that. Then let him save us. I'll still let the chunk of my father's name on star stuff and... Molly, you idiot! Oh boy, she's cracking up. No, maybe she has a plan. I do, I have a plan. <laughs> Entirely new. Alive! And all of a sudden, 
buffeting. Down a deep crevice is Gravity Beckham, clicking her finger and winking her eye, and Peter falling for her big time, and rushing up to meet him. It's a solitary glass. Flash! His brutal fall is broken. And not his neck. And not by glass at all. But by a shimmering lake of golden water far, far underground. He should have been drowning. He should have been afraid. But he was neither drowning nor afraid. Peter bobbed to the surface, safe as you please, and began to get his bearings. The water was thick like oil, and full of light, too, and warm like a rich man's bath. And looking down, fondly at Peter was... A mermaid! Well, well, as you jump in, my teacher. That's what I call But yes, I speak English. I know your name is Peter. You know a lot of things. Where am I? In a hurry. That's right. I was running away. Those natives. They're trying to kill us. We just want to get home. Yeah. We're just complicated. We were going to build a raft. You don't need a raft to get home, and you don't need the lost. All you need is star stuff. How do you know about such a teacher? <laughs> when you rode the chunkless island, the sea water seeped inside. Then you start to eat the chunk and chant to the water. Then the water chant to the fish in the wake of the chunk. Then the waves... But how'd you know about... Not finished. Then the waves wash into the grotto. Diverse women. So you used to be a fish? Scotch salmon. This is way cooler, my eyes. The star stuff will change you, too. It makes what you want to be. I just want to be a boy for a while. It's all I've ever wanted. Well, you could be a boy if you sit in the star stuff. Yeah? And then what? Sky's the limit. You could even fly yourself home, maybe. Just like you dreamed. If I had a family? In which case, you're gonna need something. The name? Instead of Peter? In addition to. A family name. And we've come up with a good one, haven't we? And in the grotto, or in the water, or both. Peter seemed to hear a voice, or an echo, or both, that seemed to say, Yeah! What are you, boy? I'm Peter. Yeah! Actually, first one is fun, frolic, energy, mischief, all the things boys like to. Fun. Okay, I'm Peter Pan. See, you changed already. You said Pan means two things. What's the second? Shouldn't you be on your way? Why is any beach about trunk? Wally. The trunk. Winners, yes, we beat him to the top. We beat him. I'll make that very clear with the next year. If she gets it. Of course I'll get there. Yes, to take back this morning. The name of what we are doing terrible. We all feel terrible. Peter's at the right now, which makes me the final set the question of what or for a better word one might do leadership. Christ! A floating tomato! Say what? That might not on the horizon. But do you Okay, the kiss. 
What kiss? The kiss, the one you gave me? Oh, kiss. What kiss? <laughs> oh, well, what about it? <laughs> Nobody's ever wanted to kiss me, that's all. Uh, wanted to? I didn't want to. We were about to be eating a lot. I, mean, I was just standing there and you grabbed me. Oh, for heaven's sake, such a fuss. Didn't you like it? No, it was... You didn't like it. You didn't like it. Now you're telling me you didn't like it. I'm Unbelievable. I'm not saying I didn't like it. Mmm, poor. <laughs> <laughs> then what are you saying? I guess I'm saying... I guess I'm asking... You stop that right now. I will answer any such question. You're inclined to look sentimental. And it's all well and good for a fool. Inclined to what? But the fact is, we girls can't afford to be sentimental. And when I marry, my husband will have to... Marry? Well, you thought I was asking you to marry? Oh, what? Oh, that ego! And when I'm in, I should make it very clear to this person that sentimentality is not on the camera. You have to love it or leave it. And if you should leave, I'll stay spinster and put my hair back and volunteer weekends at the hospital. And I'll love what's for their own sake, their Kaiser, and Piccadilly, and Onyx, and I'll have a good old doll and think what I like and be part of a different sort of family with friends, yeah? To understand that some things are only worth what we're willing to love for them. Even if I, in the face of death, may have answered you, I didn't say that. Got it. Good. Wow. You know, now that you're here, I might just rest my eyes a little. No way, no way. Through the house. English. 
English, so I'll choose my words carefully. No. But Robbie! You English invade our island. Now nature's laws are all for Because of the conscience. Come behind. Please, Bob. Let's take the train off the island. Nature's going to call us the happily ever after. Happily ever after, my bad night. You, kitty cat. Bring the trunk here, or I cut the savage's throat. That's a terrible choice. Let us say your duty. Take your time. I'll count to three. Three! 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 <laughs> What's that? An echo? Echo! 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 Excellent <laughs> effect. The stash is cutting! 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 The stash is beguiling! Beguiling! The stash is supreme! I don't think so! You! Me! Peter! Pan! He's alive! Or say, rust and powder to attack the leg of Lestra! Think about it. 
the ultimate pirate and his worthy opponent. But Molly fights better than me. I run faster too. And I bet your milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> <laughs> Interested. Consider the possibilities. Both forever. Adversaries that never end them. I'm talking books, movies, Broadway. <laughs> Broadway? Well, you just tried to kill me. Don't you get it, Peter? You're my hero. Me? You're the yin to me yang, the semi to me calling. Damn it, boy, you're the wind beneath my limpid wing. Gee, <laughs> I hadn't heard Thanks to you, I am reborn, the complete villain. Oh, but the flying enemies will be forget go. Time, time will be our treasure. We'll fight for an eternity. We've a couple now, boo. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, bravo, bravissimo, give the pan a round of applause. <laughs> Me? A little more. <laughs> this is all you're doing, you loathsome pan. Single handedly rendered me. Single handed! Oh. You cut your own hand off, not me. Oh, I see the child who lives in a fat based world. <laughs> you may think my ship has sailed. Oh no, I have an armada of options at my former fingertips. Perhaps I'll never be a reliable juggler or a concert violinist, but I can still win Wimbledon, and I can still destroy you! You made your bedpan! Come on, I'm almost cooking crocodile, sir. I've stayed in the silliest to show off! It's just not your face, sir. Wait, I could use a quick on the crew. Bring the beast along to me. How are you two? Gave him the hand, you fool! <laughs> Wait! Best to make it last. Just give him the finger. <laughs> <laughs> I do, Pan. But believe this. Wherever you call home, keep your back to the wall. Or just when you least expect it, there I'll be! The stuff right under your nose! <laughs> Clap if you believe! Molly, my Molly. Oh, my Molly. Oh, my Molly. <laughs> Boy, you good son. Fighting crown honor that. Or we were had a hero, and fighting crown will bend Maul's luck. Allow all English to leave island. <laughs> you be good to Betty, or I serve you up out of debt. Oh, with many plans and promise, I got down on bended knee and Betty said, You better! Betty's bound for bridal bliss! I sir, the HMS phone break may have a few barnacles on the bottom, but the elf will scrape them off! <laughs> <laughs> Don't speak, dear. <laughs> <laughs> so proud. The South Pole. <laughs> yeah, it's us. Well, my name's not Robert Falcon Scott. Trump the longboat! Good luck, Captain, and don't let the Norwegian speeches hear it. Nobody beats the British little girl. Royal Britannia! <laughs> not a little girl. A full fledged stock catcher. A full fledged stock catcher? It's like I won the father. She deserves to serve. Well, Molly's the real hero. Thanks, Peter. Mission fulfilled. We're heading home. <gasps> and they can come home with us. Can they, Daddy? Come the boys home. Mother? I told you. And teacher said all I needed to get home was star so How wrong? Who? Who's the teacher? Oh, this trick out mermaid. Well, she used to be a fish and swim in the grotto. But now we're going home. Wait, what grotto? The grotto of the golden water? Did you go in that water? Yeah, it was great. I was warm and tingly. The star stuff. And she soaked in it. We can't do this. But it already sold the waves. The waves that can turn fish into mermaids. I'm sorry, Peter. We cannot take you with us. But he isn't evil, and he isn't greedy, and he isn't. We don't know what he is, and we don't know what he wants to be. But he's going to be a boy for a while. It's all I ever wanted. There you see. We saw stuff a while to be a very long time. When does that a home? Of course he does. Hmm? Wait. Then the old man get to the Peter, what if your mermaid was right? 
She wasn't right, and neither are you. Grown-ups lie, they lie and leave. I thought she said that all you needed was sauce to get home. But I'm still here. Precisely. Now, did she say anything else? She said I needed a family name, so she gave me one. Pan. Pan is an all, probably. All? Your family name, understand? All the birds in the sky, all the ants in the beach, the mermaids, the mollusks, the pirates, the boys, of course. Especially the boys. But all your family. And how does that make you feel? Like, like I'm finally out of the dark. There's a name for that feeling, Peter. Home. And here you are. And here you stay. Yeah, me too. Tell me, count me in. Didn't want to be alone, did ya? <laughs> <laughs> this is so unacceptable. We asked us do not leave boys behind. Well, there's that crazy bird after me again. Leave me alone. No, stop. Don't touch the bed. You need something to protect you. Now, if I think about this, we take the last of the star stuff and stir vigorously. I think anti-clockwise. Peter, lend a hat. Look behind. Hey, the hat's getting a warm and tingly just like... And so... A wizard! My hair! Come here, you! Uh, yeah, I can totally do that trick. <laughs> hey! Teddy! Don't eat it! Teddy! <laughs> Teddy! Nice to know I've still got it. If you really want to protect her, you'll take him with us. I'm afraid it's time for goodbyes. Hey, woman. Here's my address, Mommy. You don't drive me every day. Just me. And you know my address? Molly Island. Mollusk Island. Or maybe I'll call it Neverland. You know, to remember. Had a funeral. Where will you get home? To remember. Molly. Now, the time won't wait. I want you to look after him. Five more minutes, come on. Up and I'm sorry. Tell me, Molly, tell me. The other tides won't there. See, she wants to stay. She can't. But I don't want it to end. Soon, Peter, you're going to forget and it won't hurt anymore. No, it's supposed to happen. That's why no one really meant something. This isn't the end. You're going to remember everything, every single detail. And, and you're a better reader. Really? No. <laughs> <laughs> You won't stand out of me forever, will you? Go on, get lost. Yeah. I'm bound for you see. What will we do? Just, just be friends. In a year, that's a call. In five minutes, be silly. In 20 minutes, just be sad. You sound older already. The thing you did, it's the possible odds. It's the thing you two will always have. The thing you did, it's the impossible odds. Yes, I wanted to. Peter watches as the wasp grew small and small, as he thought about his adventure, about Molly, about the kiss. It would be the only moment that Peter would teeter on the top of the roller coaster, on the verge of becoming what he'd always hated, a grown-up. And as promised, he began to forget and stayed right where he was. The outsider. Molly, true to her word, would remember everything until one night many years later. She stared up the nursery window watching her daughter fly off with Peter in tow. And this grown-up Molly would comfort her new Nana, the good old dog who tended her children. Don't worry, dear Nana. I always hoped if Peter came to visit that my daughter would take my place. And when he grows up, I hope she will have a little girl. A little girl who will follow him in turn. Oh, for the wings, for the wings of the dark. And so we go on and on, dear Nana. As long as children are young and innocent. And rude and juvenile and heartless. Past all the jostles of life. Till we fly back home. Did you say 
Grotto? How'd you like to be a boy for a little while? The star stuff water can do that? It makes you what you want to be. A lawyer? <laughs> <laughs> Really bad, I'm afraid of me, I'm in your home. 